All right. Thank you. Say hello to my friend, my 46th district colleague, Javier Valdez. Stand up, Hav. Thanks for being here. So I'm following the great Pramila Jayapal, and I've just been introduced by the great Pat Cashman. I have arrived in Seattle. That's what I can tell you. So thank you for having me. Uh, this is a great turnout. Bevan, uh, I spoke to Healthcare for All Washington five or six years ago. And I have to tell you, you and your team are doing an amazing job in turning this organization into a force to be reckoned with. You guys were all over uh, the Senate Health Care Committee last year, and I want to thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause for what you did last year. So we heard for the first time uh, in 2018 uh, the universal health care legislation in Washington State, health care for all. Now, we all know that the ACA has been an incredible step forward, but the Trump administration continues to undermine the health care system in a variety of ways. So Pramila gave you the wonky policy stuff. I'm going to get into some politics because i got something to say. Um, now, most recently, they took the brilliant position of arguing in federal court that the ban on pre-existing conditions is unconstitutional. And they, fought, they did that in following on to when they took away the individual mandate. And then our brilliant attorney general says in court that uh, the reason that the individual market was going to be so screwed up is because individuals might wait until they get sick to purchase insurance, therefore driving everybody's premiums up. Well, who would have thought? Who would have thought that would happen if you take away the individual mandate and then you try to argue in its place that you're going to have to get rid of pre-existing conditions too? It makes no sense. That was the entire point of the mandate in the first place, to prevent the free rider syndrome. So the point I think we all can say is that if it weren't so serious, the Trump administration's incoherence on health care would be actually comical. But it's not comical. It's really serious. But I'm going to talk about one more comical thing that I saw yesterday, because Pramila mentioned I watch a lot of C-SPAN. It's actually not so much C-SPAN, but it's, it's way too much cable news. Some of you are probably in the same thing. So I watched President Trump yesterday. I don't know why I did this, but I did, uh, when he gave a speech about the economy. And he, and he went to a section where he riffed on health care. And you know, basically, he told us once again that if only everybody in the country were as smart as him, health care would be great. It would be so easy. So these are, this is what he said. I'm quoting now directly, because I got it from He said, we've liberated millions of Americans from the crushing burdens of, o of Obamacare. And through associated health plans, we're giving Americans the ability, millions of people, to sign up. Millions and millions. These are exact quotes. We're giving Americans the ability to join together to purchase much better and much more affordable health care and health insurance. So all of the insurance companies are going wild. And, and here's the best part. It will cost the United States nothing. Nothing. Think of that. It will cost us nothing. It will cost our country nothing. And then he concluded, and I'm sure you all feel this way, we're finally taking care of our people in America. Don't you all see that happening? We're taking care of our people in America? So I know you find this hard to believe. None of that was true. I know it's shocking because he never lies to us. You can have it all, folks. You can have it for free because healthcare isn't complicated. It's easy. Remember what he said back when he was trying to rip away the Affordable Care Act the first time? He didn't realize health care was so complicated. Well, we all forgot that. But now he's suddenly saying it's easy. You can have it all for free. So this is the environment we're operating in. Up is down, night is day, and Donald Trump allegedly knows what he's doing on health care. So let's face it. They are intent on screwing things up and taking whatever progress we've made since 2009 and throwing it away for the sake of insurance industry profits so you can pay for a policy and then have the rug pulled out from under you when you, when you or your family get sick. Now, I have a little secret to tell you. I don't tell too many people, but we're all friends, so I'm going to tell you. I have, I have a number of people in my family who are, let's say, in the other party or they vote the other way. Now, these are not people in Seattle, not in my immediate family, so nothing to be concerned about, but let's just say they're in other parts of the land. And when I see them at holidays, we used to have these dis discussions on Obamacare. And I'd say, well, you don't think someone should be discriminated against just because you get sick. And they say, oh, no, 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 definitely not, they say. And you don't think people should be allowed to go bankrupt because they get cancer and can't afford their medical bills. Oh, no, 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 we got to do something about that. And you wouldn't want to give up your Medicare that you contribute to and paid for to buy health insurance on your own. And they go, oh, no, 
I love Medicare, it's great. Everyone should have that. Have you all heard this? <laughs> so my friends, the fact of the matter is, like Pramila said, we are not going back. Not to the way things were before in 2009. In the end, in the end, at the end, the people won't stand for it. And I believe that's exactly right. It's Democrats, Democratic Socialists, liberals, moderates, independents, and I think even some Republicans. We're not going to go back, not with Pr Pramila Jayapal fighting for us in the U.S. Congress, and Adam Smith, who's going to be here later, I understand, and with people like me and Hob and many friends and allies fighting for you in the state legislature in Olympia. And not with the energy that you are bringing and the awakening that we are seeing on health care for every single American, all the way from an upset in New York City elections to the 8th Congressional District here in Washington State. All of the candidates in, in the 8th Congressional Districts are fighting, all the Democratic candidates are fighting for universal health care for all Americans. Isn't that great? That's a terrific thing. So my friends, I have a few questions for you. Are you going to fight for a health care system where everyone is in and no one is out? Are you going to fight for a health care system where health care is truly portable for people who want to move from job to job, and where people can know they will not lose everything if they get sick? Are you going to do that? Are you going to fight for a health care system that emphasizes preventative care and not sick care? Are you going to fight for a health care system that helps make medical training affordable for our great nurses and doctors so they are not forced into high-priced specialties just to pay off those student loans? Are you for that? Friends, the fight for health care has been going on in this country for a hundred years. During the Great Depression, Franklin Roosevelt used to tell backers of progressive policies, I agree with you. You convinced me. I want to do it. And then he would put his fist down and he would go, now make me do it. I am convinced that is where we are today in this country. This movement has to make the political leadership in this country and in this state do what we all know in our hearts is the right thing to do and do what we all know must eventually be done. Universal health care for every single Washingtonian, every single American in this country, no exceptions. So it's not going to be easy, it's complicated, there's going to be fits and starts, but I know that in the end, that is where we are going. So keep fighting, keep supporting health care for every American, and keep supporting health care for all Washington. Thank you very much.